Hello, Endless Corridor Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play La Milana with me, Bloinkulo. In the last episode, we got the Key of Eternity, and we started working our way through the Endless Corridor, and I did manage to solve the puzzle on floor two. Woohoo! All right, it's not that bad. Now, of course, <laughs> if you didn't know what the symbols were to numbers, if you never went and learned that, thank you, commenter, that suggested how I learned them. Good job. So La Milana is pretty, re pre pretty mean. Trying to brute force random your way through this one would be tough because there's 10 different numbers. And if you don't know what they mean, well, sucks to be you. Anyway, today we're going to floor number three and third endless corridor. And we'll see what today's trick brings us, if there's any tricks. Run through with all thy might, or rely on thy wisdom to find a way. I like wisdom. Now place the weight. You know, actually, one thing I should do... Well, first we'll see what the fairy is. That's a lot of stars in the weird... Oh, we got a key fairy! We got a key fairy! Forget this place. We're out of here. Uh, Gate of Illusion is one. We're going to do this real quick, and then we're going to try to get to the Tower of the Goddess if we can. Maybe I should have gone to the Tower of the Goddess first. I don't know. Go, go, go. Don't waste any time. Come on, key fairy. We haven't seen you in so long. I don't care how much damage I take. Just go. Keep it going. Now, open stuff up! I don't know what she has to do. Open stuff! Open that! Or open this. Oh, come on, key fairy! I don't know how to use key fairies. It's kind of embarrassing. It said key fairy. This is a chamber of key fairies. Open this up! She's not opening anything. Okay, forget her. Uh, Tower of the Goddess. We apparently know that the room to the left is something too, right? Okay, Key Fairy. Do something in here. I'm pretty sure this room is something. Oh, she's she doing something? She's doing something. Yes! Thank you, Key... Okay, she actually only opens one door. And she seems to open it, like, as soon as she comes in. Like, just automatically. Spalder. Sweet! So what do we get? I don't even know what the heck this is. Spalder. Trail of holy energy with each swing. Yeah! Yeah! Look at the axe! Nice! So does our axe do more damage now? N I better save it. Awesome! We finally got the key fairy to do something. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh -huh. Let's go heal up. And save and all that. And we'll go back to the tower of the... Uh, the uh, Endless quarter. Woohoo! So I don't know what we need to do to get the key fairy to do something in um in the room in the the illusion gate of illusion. The key fairy seemed to just automatically open up that one room for us when we went to uh, Tower of the Goddess. So I assume it's sort of automatic. Oh, I'm so happy we got the Key Fairy to do something. I don't know how long they last. That's what I always worry. Awesome. Blue's shiny axe. I have no idea how much more damage it does, but I'm just happy I've got it. <laughs> it's awesome. I love weapon upgrades. I don't know if it's more damage or faster or what, but it's all good to me. So we solved this puzzle. Thank you very much. Last episode. Come on, run, run, run. Uh, and we'll just go back to calm Ankylos. Now, I do actually... I guess going left would have been smarter because of the one-way road. The left wraparound would have been a lot quicker than this one. Also, interestingly enough, it makes it look like there's something right here. There must be, like, a way to get a staircase there or something. Because that's, like, an up arrow. Although, usually, if it's a trans... If it transports you between areas... There's a symbol for what area it takes you to. It's weird. I don't know what that's for. Maybe it wraps around the top to the bottom of the area? I don't, I don't know. There was an up arrow. It must take you to a different floor. The up, One up and one right for my current spot. There's an up arrow. Which means it connects to a different zone. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this floor... Again, I have no idea what to start with for puzzles. Warning, do, no, do not look at the sun with a magnifying glass. <laughs> That's good. 
A symbol of a sun in the background to use the magnifying glass that tells you not to. <laughs> that's, that's actually good. Okay, so it sounds like it's telling me to place the weight. Run with all thy might sounds a little bit troublesome. Or rely on wisdom to find a weight. So I think maybe before I put a weight there, I'm going to want to like figure out the area. Because if I have to run, like if it's on a timer or something... That's convenient. Is that the clever way? Is it clever that I went there before I did the wait? Well, we'll figure out where all this stuff goes anyway. It's probably better to to um, look first before we put the weight down. It sounds... Hey, it's a little baby horse. I can't hit the baby horse. I can hit the baby horse. Okay. So I assume these areas sort of wrap up together. They always seem to wrap up in this one. Um, To the one who toils for naught, thou art foolish, blah, 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 blah. So we can't even go back up there. We're actually trapped down here. Unless there's a... Unless there's a breakable wall or something. I wonder if the weight opens the chest. Unfortunately, I, uh, I think I have to teleport out. Unless there's something... Okay, well, well, I mean, it's not that far. We'll just teleport back. I wonder if I should try out the Keyblade now that I've got, uh... Yeah, I got that cool little blue effect. Maybe with weapons that swing faster, it's more effective? I don't know. The axe is nice because it can hit stuff above you so well. And I think it's two axes? Well, the good news is that the, the Keyblade isn't much worse than the axe. Uh, the axe kills the flowers in two hits, the Keyblade kills it in three hits, but the Keyblade is much faster, so that's, you know, it's not... I'd say it probably kills them just as quickly as anything else. The only problem is the axe could kill the one above me. Alright, well let's just have... Um, well, I guess we could get another fairy too while we're here. Uh, what do we get this time? That's a lot. Oh, it's a money fairy. Oh, that's nice. Nice. I don't actually need money right now, but thanks. So this would have been the other in-between area. So I, it's kind of a maze. I guess if you're in a rush... I bet you it's just like a timer. You put a weight down and you've got so many seconds to get to the chest. Six chakras, very nice. Anyway, I know a shortcut on the top, so we'll use that. And that should get us to the chest much quicker. Yeah, there's a timer, no, no surprise. Pretty much what I expected, to be honest. So you would have to be very quick. Nice, twin statue, that's another one that we've been looking for for ages. We need that in the twin labyrinth, somewhere. Okay, don't fart on me, stupid horse thing. Poop on me, I guess, strictly speaking. Also, while we've got the money fairy, let's uh, make a bit of money. No points to the money fairy. Oh. Seems you can only actually hurt those when they're little. Okay, so we got the twin... Um, the twin statues. Let's have a quick look at those. Uh, where is it? Somewhere? don't see them, but... Ah, there they are. Stone statue of the legendary twins. It can break the seal of the twins. So we know that that has something to do with the twin labyrinth and possibly the poison area specifically. Good. Good, good, good. Kill you while you're small? Well, we made maybe 100 gold while that was... while the fairy was out. I would like to get further into this one uh, if it's possible. There's still two floors below us. The axe also checks for things below you. Feels like I have to sort of teleport back up whenever I, um... Whenever I get stuck in that bottom pit. 
Oh well, shouldn't take too long to do a little bit of roundabout. This is still a front area, they're not that hard. As much as, um, this is, seems to be maybe the one of the last front side areas. Other than maybe the, uh, Shrine of the Mother or whatever it's called. Um, but it still seems not too difficult. It's the really the backside areas that have the worst monsters. Which means, I suppose, the backside area of this is probably just brutal. <laughs> I also never read that broken tablet. Sounds good look. It's it's busted, of course. <laughs> oh oh oh! Is this gonna do something, or am I gonna get killed? Don't kill me! Don't kill me, bro! One saw the colorless map. One saw the colorful map. Together they see the truth. Well, I have a colorful map. Is that? I have them both on too, right? Should I be looking at it? I mean, I never tried one but not the other. Yeah, okay, so color map just shows color. I have no idea. Yeah, okay, so it shows color, but it doesn't unless it doesn't tell you what the color means. We've, we've seen the no color map many times. You put them together, and it tells you what those are. It also shows you the entrances and exits. Okay, so yeah, you put them together. That's all that tells me, right? Together, they give you more info. info. Okay, so maybe that's our first hint at a combo. <laughs> a software combo. As far as I know, that's the first hint that I've seen. Let's break some pots. Unfortunately, on this one, I have no idea how to get down to the next floor. <laughs> Nothing is looking obvious to me for a way to puzzle my way down. We solved one thing, we got the key. Oh, 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 another neat little shortcut, okay. So, because of that, except for all the spike death, we actually could get out of here pretty easy, okay. So yeah, you could get back up without having to teleport. That's nice, just a shortcut. Lots of shortcuts in this game, awesome. Unfortunately, um, like I said, how do we continue going down? I don't know. Well, I mean, there's one room that we can't go down in for sure, right? Because there's no area below it. So, we're gonna, right off the bat, we're pretty sure this room is not the one that has a downward connection. Pretty sure, because there's no room underneath it. Unless it's a secret room or something. Okay, although that horse keeps changing size. That's confusing me a little. This room is a contender. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. One who toils for naught. Four thou out foolishes. There were four chests over there, or four pots. Hmm. Press down on some random spot or something. I hate it when that happens. When it just feels completely random. Yeah, I've seen that before. Pots are all gone. This room could certainly be one of the ones that takes us down, but... Uh, it actually already has a pretty good puzzle in it. Well, a good little secret. Oh! Something's happening. Yay! More treasure! I mean, we're finding little chests here and there. That's pretty good. Also, for instance, in case you're wondering, because this is an area I've never been in, I have not looked at this area for the guide at all, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I only ever look up stuff once I sort of know the layout. Oh look, the key fairy just, or not the key fairy, the, the fairy shows up just then. So yeah, if it's a new area that I've never been to before, I will know nothing about it, basically. Only will know other. So. Put another weight on it. So if you're really... Oh, wait a second! <laughs> right here! Below there! That Did that just open up after I got the key, maybe? Or, uh, the twin statues? <laughs> Duh, blue is pretty dumb sometimes. I didn't even notice that. Was that there from the very beginning? The whole puzzle here was just to get the, uh... The statues, maybe? And I just never noticed that the key was right there? The hole? Alright, let's try another floor. 
Uh, we've got spinny death blades and spiky doom traps. Good. Endure the endless trials. Good. Kind of glad I got the, uh, he's, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think there's a couple safe spots just to the right of the middle blade. So if we stand right here, we're okay. And then just to the right of the next blade over. I moved a little bit too quick. Right here. Actually, in the spikes would have been safe except for the flowers. Spikes are nice and safe. I assume, yeah, more blades. Oh, blades that are off tempo. Get out of the way, stupid bats. Got more important things to worry about than bats. Now, I did not even touch it. They have a weird hitbox. Okay. I wonder if there's anything in that little sort of alcove up here. Let's see. Well, now we know. So the flower is in a safe spot. I'm going to stand right where the flower was. We'll try. Relatively safe. There's no safe spot here. we got to get moving. There was no time to move. That sucks. Uh, I guess some of these some of these rooms, you might need the, uh, the uh, lamp of time to get through without getting hit. I don't know. Next spot should have a fair bit of space. Should be okay. Okay, this, this room wasn't too bad. What have we got this time? Blade, blade, giant space, little horse coming to get me. Hey, horse. Of course the horse takes two hits. Now it's a big horse. Oh, it's draining my life. Good. Great. Is it going to die or am I going to die? Looks likely that I'm going to die. Great. <laughs> okay, you know what? We'll come back here. We'll come back here. I want to try to get healed. Also, make sure we're saved now that we got the uh, twin statue. And we I want to use that twin statue. I'm going to assume that we use it probably in the room past where we fought Elmac in the Temple of the Sun. Because that's the poison area that talks about the twin statues. And we've certainly been looking for this twin statue for a long time. Or at least I have. So, I'm not... Uh, I'm actually feeling pretty good about our progress the last couple episodes. Okay, Temple of the Sun, where are you? There we are. And we'll just zip down here. Just like that. That's what I meant to do. Come on, it wasn't that bad. We just fall on our face. And we gotta go down further. I suppose... Technically speaking, this is the wrong way to go down quickly, but it'll work. Okay, and this was the boss room? Yeah. And if I remember correctly, this is the poison room. So we gotta figure out what to do in here. The twins Edigna and Brannon, the body of a snake. The twin statue. This desire took the form of the twin statue. Okay. This is the desire to travel from Idigna and Baranin. So they made it all the way to the Endless Corridor. Good for them. Uh, calls for the gate's power. The hero Hermes used the statues to release the twins. Is this thing? Hero and the twins. Oh, wait, the thing on the bottom. I think the room is shining. I don't know if that was shining before. If I could just get there. Is this it? Oh, now we're somewhere else. Okay. Oh, there's another statue with a daze. No! No! We're gonna die! <laughs> there's always a trap. Okay. Hit it. Please stop poisoning me now. No. Okay, we don't have enough time. Let's try this again without being killed by traps. Okay. I'm... I mean, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that that's just instant death, right? Like, it has to be instant death. Anything with a timer and, like, supposed poison that's gonna kill you. This is not, like, a friendly kid game that, you know, isn't joking around. Even Zelda Ocarina of Time, if you let the timer go down, 
in the volcano, you still die. This one, it's totally gonna kill you. Okay, so go right. Get down here. Kill the stupid thing. Go through the portal. Work your way up without falling through the somewhat hard to guess traps. Okay, now what do we do? A door triggered, but I don't know where. Back here? The other statue again? Yeah, okay, so you had to get both statues. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I'm not gonna make it! No, I'm not gonna make it again! Okay, so you got me really fast. I just realized I had less than a second. I'm glad that when you open up the map, time stops. <laughs> okay, so apparently you got to be really quick on your feet for this one. I did not realize just how little the time was. Smash. Lemay's a face smash. It's not quite as effective as Hulk smash. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. That's perfect. Hit me right into the doorway. Thanks, buddy. Get out of the way. I don't have time to mess with you guys. I really don't. In fact, you... well, that that's good. Where's the? I thought there was a spot you fell through. <laughs> There's a spot on this one. Okay, go, go. I don't know if I have enough time again. That's not gonna help. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. No, stupid lizard. I might have made it if it wasn't for the lizard. From now on, we'll just die. If we don't make it in time, we'll just be dead. It's more honorable this way. <laughs> oh, this is this this is the first one that's gonna make me really rush, I think. So far all the other ones have been relatively um, time like when it when there was a timer, it wasn't that bad. This one though, jeez, oh, I should have known better by now, you'd think. Oh I'm so dead. There's no way we're gonna make it. There is no way. Just get out of the way. Just let me go. I don't even want to fight you. Just get out of my way. No, eight seconds. I think we need to have at least... At least ten seconds when we get back to this room. I'm gonna guess. Well, maybe. Is that enough? That was just enough. Whoa. Okay, so... We still don't even have the map for this stupid area. But now we're in the Twin Labyrinths without poison. Hopefully, whatever connecting stuff that I need to connect up all the areas is in this section. Oh, good. Another grail. First, we set it off. What's that? The soul of the train? Of the twins, yeah. I thought it was the soul of the train. <laughs> so, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, there's nine areas now. <laughs> I didn't think the twin labyrinths would have two grail points. Well, that means I'm still missing three areas for this. Chamber of Birth, Backside of Endless Corridor, and something else. What have I forgotten? There's no... Okay, there's no backside to this. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's no backside to the surface. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, and then eight backside from those. Maybe the surface has a backside. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know these things. It's just gonna go up. Apparently that one's broken. <laughs> so we're stuck here forever. There's, there's gotta be a way to get back up. Can we jump that high? Not Wait, can I just smack it? Um, whip it. Whip it good. Um... <laughs> I don't know how to get out of here. Well, we're off to a great start. We've unlocked a grail point that literally does us no good. Seriously? Game, why you be that way? Oh, man. 
I suppose we're almost time to end the episode, but I want to explore a little bit of this area. I want to start seeing it hook up with some areas I know already or something. At least we don't have to worry about um, the poison killing us. <laughs> we can go here pretty quickly. Alright. So, mm -mm, let's try to not fall down. Black Onyx means eloquence, Amethyst means sincerity. Uh, I don't think I've seen any Onyxes or Amethysts. Sorry, game. Just don't knock me down, bird. Just don't knock me down. Thank you. Okay, this one has both working, so assumedly if I fall down we can get out. But let's just avoid all that. Okay, and this took us around... This is where we teleported to before. I really, really want the map for this area so I can figure it out. Where does this take us? Oh, Shrine of the Mother. I wonder if we can actually explore this place now. <laughs> thanks. Very useful. Can I get this without getting squished? Totally. How come we have the map for the Shrine of the Mother before we have the... Oh, no! <laughs> every time, every time! Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here. I'll go pick up that map off camera. And then we'll try to explore some more next episode. <laughs> every time. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs>